Hello. Zayam. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. Currently here at the Eliminate Warehouse. Some of the boys are actually in Miami right now. Rolling loud. If anybody goes, hope you guys have fun. But let's go ahead and talk about the 240 here. Finally got some parts from Juga Racing. Shout out to them. The gaskets are home and I'm gonna put them on because this thing, I haven't been, I haven't been able to like drive it, you know, like full potential because it's leaking like a lot of air. Because of the double leaks that I um, talked about before, yo, well, check this out. You know, you guys know how like I have like the neighborhood cats and stuff, bro, I just washed the car yesterday and look at this. Look at their little paws, man. I don't know if you can see it, but bro, come on. Before, like they didn't step on my car at all, but now, I don't know. I don't know what's got into them, but man, look at this. They be sliding down that windshield. Like I just washed the car. Yeah, those cats, they need to go. Dude, man, the downpipe is like on the floor, yo. I don't know if you guys can see, but on the way here, this thing was dragging everywhere. So we're gonna have to fix that today. But before that, y'all, I have found another problem on the 240, man. Didn't know about this until like recently, probably like two days ago or three days ago when I was driving at night. Pop up the headlights and one of them don't work. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. So one of them doesn't work right the driver's side and I was like huh probably just the bulb and then looked a little bit closer ah <sighs> yep it's the harness it's hold up let, let me just turn the wheel and show you guys a um, a better look <laughs> damn bro, bless you <laughs> damn you good dog <laughs> alright here we go Yo, check this out. Hold on, let me put on some light. Like, I tucked it before very carefully, right? And it didn't rub at all. Um, until I went to the track, and it went off track, and I think this is um, the, um, the results of going off track. So, it looks kind of bad. I see some uh, copper there. But good thing it didn't rub through everything. So far, it's only my uh, driver's side headlight and the windshield wiper. So I'm just gonna try to electrical tape all that <laughs> and hope for the best. Cool, let's get started. I got a jacket up a little high because I gotta get in the car later. So, um, yeah. Alrighty everybody, let's go ahead and take a look at these. It's not that bad, right? It's not. It's 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 a little bad. <laughs> a little bit of electrical tape will definitely um fix the problem. So I took the driver size bulb out to test it, because I don't know if it works. But at the same time I wanna test I wanna see if this is getting power. I've decided to Take the other side out. And um, just plug it right in there and see if that bulb works. If it does, then it's not the bulb, it's the harness. But if it doesn't work, then it's the bulb and not the harness. So fingers crossed it's the bulb because that way it's much easier to change instead of, you know, gotta like go through each and every single wire and see which one is the headlight yo i'm trying to check out this led but it's super hot because it's been on uh you know what i'm just gonna i'm just i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna do it for the gram i mean for the for the tube yo bro shit i knew that was gonna happen this moment of truth if this bulb lights up that means that it works and if it doesn't that means that it don't the bulb's not lighting up it's for sure the bulb okay now the next step is to get the working bulb and plug it over there and see if we're getting power. Five minutes later. So it worked on the I think I just messed it up. Alright, hey yo, hey, listen here, right? So this bulb doesn't work, right? So I took the bulb out, switch it over, 
plug it into that side. It didn't turn on because, you know, we think that the bulb is broken. Now I put this old bulb back into the old headlight and it doesn't turn on either. No, this bulb was working earlier. Like two minutes ago. Feel it, hold it. It's too hot. Mm. Mm. Look at that chin line. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you I, I got low, so. On your face, look. I got you, dude. Don't make, you, don't make me make you fall low. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but so I don't, what do we do? Uh, it might be just the bulb. For oh, this bulb was just working. Yeah, but then something probably shorted. LEDs once it's shorted, it goes out. Are you sure this works? Yeah, dude, you feel it. But then it was, both sides stop working, right? Well, earlier that side was working, and then now both sides stops working. Then it's probably. So it seems like you have a problem, <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> That's <gasps> the fuse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, that's very good, dude. I'm gonna check the next. Let's see. Come on. And it is bad. Let's go, Thomas. Since we're already here, we might as well check for the left one also. Dude, what if it's the fuse the whole time? I took out all of that for literally no reason <laughs> you really have got to be kidding me it was the fuse the whole time dude i guess you never know until you really open it up and find out right? Bruh, i should have checked that first i i don't know i, mean, I don't know i thought it was i because 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 i saw this harness you know kind of like ripped up so i thought that's the problem at least you didn't call o'reilly's and uh to fix your to replace your ac compressor uh -huh. and they said it's 650 dollars <laughs> <laughs> hey at least you have ac I don't. This one doesn't have AC right now. I, that doesn't have AC no more. Oh, no more? The compressor went out. Oh, shit. So I drove her no fucking AC full? Damn. Why can't I got last week? Yeah, you look a little thin, bro. You look good. Driving to work five minutes away? Already yeah. 10 pounds. Hey, you look good, man. You see, look, look at it. Look at it. Ooh. That's why I'm black, too. What? No AC. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to put everything back and um, head to O'Reilly's. Get a couple of fuses. Yeah. Yo, we are back. I literally went over everything and electrical tape, most of it, double, triple, quadruple layer. So it should be good. I even added on some additional zip ties. I replaced the old ones because some of them snapped. I put it like three, four zip ties in there. So it, it sits a lot higher now too. Hopefully in the future, it's not gonna rub anymore. It's looking good so far. All right, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and um, change out the gasket. I only got two gaskets, but I don't know why they give me like a, a fairly big box, like a square box. Okay, here we go. ISR Performance. I couldn't find the Megan one because I have a Megan downpipe, but Megan doesn't like sell gaskets separately. I emailed Injuku and asked them if it's gonna fit. They said that it, it should fit, so that's ISR. There's another ISR right here for the, this is for the, um, downpipe turbo turbine and then that's for the uh, mid pipe and I don't know what the rest is it's probably just trash okay cool all right just two gaskets I'll put on right now and fix that leak let's get it alrighty everybody we just got the test pipe out look at my tragic Gaskets right here, double gaskets, but um, they're pretty beat up. Yeah, it's been on there for a while. That's one down, but we're not done yet. I gotta check out the down pipe to put in the new gasket, and then we can put everything back. Yes, the down pipe is finally out, man. Five volts. It was low key stressful, but your boy got it out. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how many studs there are? Guess how many I snapped. <laughs> like out of five or six, maybe like two. Hey man, you need to get out, sir. What the? Hello? There you go. Sheesh. 20 minutes later. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Broken 240. I'm just kidding, y'all. Um, so we put the, the downpipe in, put the gaskets in, put the downpipe in, I put the bolts in, but one of them did not fit the top one um i don't know if you guys can see it somewhere here but it's on like it's like the top one on uh 
on the outside so like on this side that's the shortest one i don't know why everything else is like evenly a little bit longer but that particularly is shorter than all the other ones right so we can't put the nut on so i've decided to take out the downpipe once again take out that studs and put in the new studs and then another problem that we ran into the stud is stripped man story of my life right man back to back to back to back to back and i love it i love it um we're gonna break it out but don't know how in the process of working on that issues right now um i asked isaac to um give me a hand and um at first he was using the the velcro i mean not the velcro the vice grip to um to take it out but we can't he couldn't uh trying to cut the tip where the strip part is couldn't either so now he bust out he bust out the the welder. I don't know what's going down right now, but um. Can I paint your car? But, uh, dude, at this at this point, bro, at this point, man, you go for it, dude. You go for it. <laughs> <laughs> the night with um trying to check out the stud on the turbo but we could not take it out isaac was like grinding there you know what i'm saying like he welded a nut onto the stud trying to take the stud out he couldn't because it keeps snapping until the point where there's no like no thread left let's say for example the stud was this long right and he kept trying and he kept trying and he kept trying and keep snapping and then now the stud is like around like right there at that level so i can't even put a nut on um the the downpipe doesn't even sit on it no more so i'm probably gonna have to get a new turbo in the future or take it out and fix that stud i don't know but as you can see throughout the whole video this is problems after problems after problems oh talking about that my headlight so i got new fuses right i put them in one side worked the other one didn't work so i think it's the bulb I hope it is because if not then it's the harness and I don't know man the problems the list goes on right 240 I really love the car but there's just so many issues come with it you know what I'm saying at the end of the day I still love the car I used to love it a lot more though but I mean it is what it is overall the car is running fine right now the only thing that's not working is one of the headlight I just gotta you know change out the new bulb and uh, see if that works hopefully it does but other than that guys this is a wrap thank you so much for watching like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all later.